For 90 years, Shockers encountered countless thrills and setbacks and the pure pageantry of college football. From 1896 to 1986, Wichita State fielded its share of winning teams. In 1954, Kansas native Jack Mitchell coached the Shockers to a school record nine victories and a Missouri Valley Conference title. The 1947, 48, and 61 seasons culminated in bowl games. The 1982 Shockers did not reach those milestones, but the team coached by Willie Jeffries, Division 1A football's first African-American head coach, delivered the program's last great season. The Shockers won seven of their first eight games, including a thriller over the Kansas Jayhawks in the team's first meeting in 36 years and finished with an 8-3 record. It was Wichita State's most victories since 1961 and the first winning season since 1972. Well, it was a very good, good football team, but it, that was a mix between the guys we were able to bring in from South Carolina and, and Georgia and other places to go along with Jay. We had a nucleus here with Jay and the other guys uh, that were already here. They were able to gel, and we, we, knew, we knew at the beginning of the season that, that we had a top-notch team, and they just had to get out and perform. With veterans like guard Jay Hall and talented senior quarterback Prince McJunkins, the Shockers entered the season with enough offensive firepower to be optimistic. But Wichita State's defense ranked at the bottom of the Missouri Valley in 1981, allowing nearly 380 yards a game. For Jeffries, whose defensive additions included an imposing six foot seven defensive tackle from South Carolina, the key to improvement was clear. Well, it was headed in the right direction. We knew that our offense would be good uh, we had to work on our defense, and Jumpy Gathers uh, solidified that. James Gathers got underneath and Gathers, submarined him. Gathers closed it down again like he's been doing all day. I think he got drafted early because of the KU game. He, he just, he wore that guy out in front of him, and, and Jumpy really, he did the same thing in the NFL. But we needed to, we needed to tighten up our defense, and uh, we were able to do that. Our offense was very consistent. Excitement brewed for WSU's non-conference schedule, which featured games at KU and Kansas State. The Shockers had not faced both teams in the same season since 1945. Wichita State rolled over Missouri Rolla in its home opener to build momentum for a Week 2 test in Lawrence. The Shockers had stunned Kansas 18 months earlier in the NCAA basketball tournament, and they did it again in football. Trailing 10-3 at halftime and 10-6 after the third quarter, WSU took the lead with just over three minutes remaining on a play that became known as the pass. Duncans, a down the middle, try it wide open! At the 20, at the 15, at 10, he's going to score! No, he's knocked out, touchdown! Touchdown, Don Dreher! KU just, they, they kind of overlooked us, but they'd also come off a bowl game the year before, and we struck him, and I will, you know, God rest his soul, Tim Dorian was our uh, center. He had been converted from a, being a linebacker. He had a lot to do with how well I played. Shocker fans savored the victory over KU, both in Lawrence and back home. Meanwhile, the football team moved forward with a victory over Ball State to improve to 3-0. and The quest for a fourth straight win was stopped by K-State 31-7. But Junkins was injured in that loss and dealt with other health issues the rest of the season. Still, Wichita State won its next four games before falling to Tulsa in the home finale. The Shockers split their final two road games, winning at Drake before a 24-20 loss to Wyoming. It should have easily been a 9-2 season. We lost to Wyoming, and it was so cold the sun rose with an overcoat on. It was just really a cold day. It was a, a bad day for us, and it was still a close score. Uh, could have been a 10-1, 9-2 season, but we settled for an 8-3. Uh, it was a great year, and we had added Reuben Eccles and, and Jumpy Gathers, and, and uh, Prince had gotten some experience. Uh, Jay in the offensive line was pretty well solid, and that was the key for our team. Hull was an all-conference lineman and helped pave the way for an offense that averaged 415 yards per game. Eccles went on to become WSU's career leader in receiving yards and touchdown receptions. Gathers used his two seasons on the field at Wichita State as a springboard to a lengthy and Super Bowl winning NFL career. 
and McJunkins, the Shockers' offensive catalyst from Muskogee, Oklahoma, became the first player in NCAA history to finish with more than 4,000 career passing yards and 2,000 rushing yards. At a point when WSU baseball had just reached the College World Series for the first time under Gene Stevenson, and when Shocker basketball won 82% of its games over three seasons under Gene Smithson, WSU football shared in the success. The best of Jeffrey's five seasons with the Shockers, that 1982 season, featured record attendance at Cessna Stadium, and in 2010, Coach Jeffries was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, gloomier times were ahead for WSU football after 1982's winning season. The Shockers failed to win more than three games in any of the next four seasons, shackled by financial concerns and the effects of an NCAA probation, Wichita State played its final game on November 15, 1986. Three weeks later, the program was discontinued, which has marked the fall of 1982 as Shocker football's last great season.